Oh, what is that? It's a sh it's a sh Okay, that might have made up for everything. All right, howdy folks. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Gates of Hell. Today we're playing the second mission in Stormfuhrer's Market Garden campaign, which as always you can find linked in the description below, as of course also his channel, where I think he showcased a lot of the stuff he uh, works on ahead of time, but also he has his own content he makes in there as well. So as always, it's a huge shout out to him for giving people like myself and people like yourself a bunch of extra stuff to play in Gates of Hell. In this scenario, we're playing as I think US 82nd Airborne, as they are fighting in the south of the Netherlands, actually near a town called Grave, or the pronunciation would be Grave or Grave, but it's written Grave. And the interesting part about this is that in modern day times, just as the bridge near Arnhem, the John Frost Bridge, this one is named after one of the leaders of the 82nd Airborne, or I think at least one of the people who initially jumped in and uh, captured the bridge. And it's funny because him and I share their same name. His name was John Samuel Thompson, and well, my name is Samuel something, so I guess we share a name there somewhere. And it's interesting, I actually didn't know that. I, I knew that this bridge was named after one of the people who captured it or liberated the bridge, or I guess captured it from the Germans, but I was never aware that the S in his initial actually stood for my own name. So, a little bit of history, I guess. Uh, I just was making sure that I wasn't giving any misinformation as I was making this video, and I stumbled upon that. thought that was interesting. It appears that we're going to have to fight our way to the bridge entrance and then somehow get across and deal with the enemy machine gunners and trench positions, most likely. And then it looks like we just have to capture both the north and the southern areas of the map. Now, I think we're going to let this team take the brunt of the fire while we send a second squad around. Now we're using the Valor mod, obviously, to get the American uniforms and the British uniforms in the last video and weapons and everything else. But we're also using the Valor first person mod. And I gotta say, it just makes such a big difference. It really turns Gates of Hell into a completely different game, if I, if I may say so. It is very different when you can go from being a, uh, a commander in the, I guess, sort of sky to being an actual, oh, can we get to cover? Oh, I was, I just tapped the prone button. And the thing is, I don't think there's medics here. Uh, yeah, we don't have any medics. It would be nice if we had a way to get grenades in there, like grenade launchers. We also have to deal with the Germans on our right here, which is a little hard. This is actually a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if we're, are we low enough? Is that a German? I think there's a German like right there. But why don't we get a little closer and just lob a grenade or two in. We have to get in defilate though. Oh, we lost another member back here. We only have a couple more guys. We can only call another like, what, 15 paras? At least until we get some more manpower. But we'll have to clear out these trenches pretty closely. Because I think, is there, oh, they actually knocked out quite a few of them. I'm looking for, oh, they're Panzergrenadiers too. That's actually not very good, because that means they're uh, better trained, most likely somewhat better equipped. Like, think of perhaps there's a G43 in here, or uh, like a bigger belt MG42 versus uh, a 50 round drum belt MG34. Keep up the pressure, guys. We're taking this. Taking them in. Cover, 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 cover. Oh, you <laughs> bastard. Trying to. I, I maybe should have sent a guy with a Thompson or carbine in instead of the guy with the M1 Grand, but I guess we'll just run like two guys in here. I don't want to send the guy with the bazooka in though. All right, let's roll in. Now we know there's a guy in the corner right here. That's a, oh, there's a machine gunner right there. I want to get into the French though. I'm not sure if I like throwing grenades in this view. I prefer doing it in this view. But that was a perfect grenade, actually. We got that guy out, which was the machine gunner. Oh, oh, what? Where did that come from? See, okay, they do actually have G43, so that's what I was saying. That's what I was a little worried about. That's obviously a lot more firepower. Uh, that's like basically their version of an M1 Garand uh, compared to, you know, them having a bunch of Karnani 8s if they were just regular Wehrmacht infantry. But them being Panzergrenadiers is 
Means they have a little bit better equipment. I'm being absolutely destroyed right now. So we're trying to like crawling. You know what? Why don't I grab a grenade off this guy? Okay, well, if he has four grenades, that works even better. Grab some German grenades. See if we can just... I, I don't know if this makes sense. Do you reckon they would do this? Do you reckon they would just throw some blind grenades down this trench? I mean, if... Oh, well, that was effective because we killed one guy with that. I feel like this actually isn't even the craziest idea. Oh, no way. We just knocked out, like, three guys with two grenades so far. Okay, that one did not really get anyone. So we're three grenades, three kills. Let's see if this one gets anyone. Damn, okay. Gonna spray down there, because you never know who might end up being invisible. Oh, it does happen sometimes that guys are harder to spot in this. Oh, 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 oh. No, prone, 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 prone. Oh, God, it's just... Ooh, that was a double. We're getting lots of doubles here. Let's actually, uh, let's run him across. This is very dangerous. He doesn't have as much health. Okay, down. Okay, next. And then let's get the whole set of other guys coming up here. We have another set of six. It really makes you play this game very different when you don't have a Sherman or a Panzer IV or, or you know, any sort of armored, I was going to say vehicular device to, to advance with. Uh, it's cover. It is, has firepower. That was a great grenade. It's a shame it didn't really do anything. We're ready to move in. Just give the order. Here, pick up these rounds. All right, let's clear these trenches very gently. I noticed Germans right around the corner here. No! Oh, he got shot by another. There, there's like 17 guys covering each other in these trenches. It's insane. I need to stop losing men here, but it's not an easy job. I'll slip my carbine guy up, actually. Uh, we got some... No, actually, I don't know if we got more manpower there. Okay, carbine, let's go. We're going to be running in here. Actually, we have six grenades on this guy. I think we might actually just do a barrage of grenades, like the old Rob's Mod days, where you just played Japan and then throw 19 grenades with F1 spam, and then whatever is alive after, it doesn't want to be alive really anymore. Are there more in this part of the trench right here? Okay, we did it. We've actually cleared a part of the trenches. So we can start setting up towards this area now and the other side, which is actually quite a bit to clear, a lot of trenches to clear out. So I don't really want to run down towards these trenches just yet. So we'll deal with those in a bit. Let's get some infantry on these walls. We'll leave one squad uh, here. We'll get another squad of Paris. All right, we actually have contact here. Ready, sir. Seeing if I can get the submachine gunners to go to the right here. And then, is there another guy? Oh, the bazooka guy also has a ton. Okay, right, right. So now we have our little SMG assault section. Yes. Technically, even the carbine guys could potentially be considered to go along here. So we have our five-man sort of, or four-man sort of support section with two grands and two bars. And we'll have our sort of larger assault section, which has two carbines, two bazookas, and two Thompsons. I guess we could be interested if we see if we could set up behind this truck, but I also don't know. Yeah, this truck's going to be annoying. With some suppressive fire. Suppressive fire actually works in this game because the AI will sort of take cover. Oh, there's a fall sheet. There's a Falshi I got shot in the head there, I think. Those are enemy paratroopers. So we got Germans, uh, German paratroopers fighting the American paratroopers here. Can I jump over this wall? Sometimes it's a little messy. And I wish that Gates of Hell, that thing from Ko, I think Ko 3 added it uh, now, where you can, is there anyone in cover here? I think we got most of them. But they added that thing now where you can just give your guys an order. And if there's obstacles in their way, like trenches or anything like that, they'll just move over it. Like, they'll jump through the hoops. Oh my god, these these Germans are so on the ball. From this part to trench this part, in Men of War, Gates of Hell, they'll walk around here, they'll walk around here. In Company Heroes, they'll walk out across here and then jump down. All right, let's call another squad. We have now pretty much secured the uh, southern bank, I believe, of the river. We will now have to set up and start clearing out the bridge and this little sort of trench area down here. I'm not really sure what the best solution would be for this. 
All right, so a little bit of a recon mission on this trench went wrong. It turns out that there's probably about 15 or 20 Germans in this trench. My best idea might be to try to use the bridge Under fire. to get some high ground on these Germans, but I don't know if I can shoot through the bridge. Actually, okay, you can shoot through the bridge. So this is potentially the solution to this. It's a very long-winded solution, a very ineffective solution. I don't have grenade launchers, I don't have a sniper, and the only thing I can really do here is try to shoot between the bridges at these German defenders, as we both are in kind of a crappy position. I guess technically speaking, I have a better position than they do, as I am above them. But at the same time, I can't really peek over this ridge with more than one or two guys at the same time, or well, I can only do like direct control one. And as you can see just now, I had to... My shots aren't even hitting where I want them to. And the second I stand up to get better shots, this is going to be a really rough part, I think, on how to clear this area out. I could actually try to get a bazooka as much as it's not necessarily designed for anti-personnel duties. Oh, those shots are going nowhere. Maybe, oh, we're also getting... Are we getting shots from across the bridge? Or are we getting shot from across the water? Okay, I don't know where this is going. Can we even get under this bridge? Nope. But the question is going to be, is it going to be effective? And we're going to find out here in just a second whether or not all my guys make it to the edge of the trench. If I get to the edge of the trench, I think I stand a pretty good chance of being able to grenade spam it. You can see there's a lot of Germans in there. Trying to get their shots across the top. We've lost a bunch of our guys. We didn't manage to get to the trench. Clear out a few of the Germans that are in there. Our bar gunner is engaging. We just have to keep sort of smoking up and then crawling through that to get... Maybe we're actually into the trench system at this point. Reload and oh no sprint sprint oh you're in reloading you can't sprint I thought you could sprint okay he's sprinting now clear clear oh you I can't see those guys until they shoot me they're invisible the Germans have the like crazy inv invisibility cloak from Harry Potter I guess. At least they definitely don't show. We're gonna like peek this multiple times. There's gonna be a German in there. Dude, what the hell? They just they were just out of nowhere. There's so many of them. I mean, they just got really unlucky not killing me there. We also lost a lot of very good men approaching this position like this. But honestly, I have no clue how I was supposed to clear it otherwise. I guess at this point we probably have superiority in numbers where we can at least do the same thing but sort of like from the side. I'm gonna crawl into a position here and just let, let get on the corner and prone out and get our shots going in and we are probably gonna lose a couple more dudes but at least we'll get the area cleared. There's another one down. Eh. Minimal losses is a big word. We definitely suffered quite a few losses there. Just because I don't see them doesn't mean they're not there, by the way. But we're managing to get off the bridge, sort of... We'll just say that they're jumping. Oh my god, an entire trench is full! Okay, we're actually able to shoot them from the bridge, kind of. I think this may be another scenario where we smoke what we have. We got three smokes going out. We'll need one, maybe like a smoke on our butt as well. Can we get some butt smoke here? Come on, come on. All right, rush for the trenches here. Oh, I guess they're all reloading right now. We can get into the trenches. I think we have a decent chance to clear this out. But there's a lot more guys in here than I think we are actually wanting to know about. There is, it's a rat's nest. It's an ant's nest. I guess rats can have... Rats can have uh, nests too, but seriously, this is insane. There's a lot more guys in there. 
What does it double? Actually, I'm hoping that grenade... I was hoping that grenade's explosion would propel it sort of forward. It wouldn't be the first time you can see people trying to use grenades to propel gr further other grenades. Where you get like this sort of crazy um, chain system where you can see a grenade get thrown away like once or twice sort of randomly to try and get it just further down a trench line. Again, that probably wouldn't really work in real life, but this is... Uh, I guess this is a game after all. Go low. No, I said go low. Oh, man. Get throw a grenade, please. We need to get rid of these guys before they murder everyone and I can basically get into the battle here. It's just getting a BAR is not a great weapon when you could have a 30 cal, a machine gun, not like an MG42, MG34. I'm gonna get down this. Never thought this guy died. Holy crap, that's a whole other company down there. Let's crouch. I grenade will not be able to go that far. I'm wondering if we can get a guy to... Oh, this guy's really health. This guy's really low on health. Smoke is sort of working. It's not allowing them to necessarily see me, but I don't think we can really see them. I'm gonna get... No, I don't want to do that. I want to... No, 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 no. Stay down. Stay down. What are you doing? No, we missed again. Stay down. Oh, man. Sometimes the AI in this game astounds me. Again, we're still fighting Panzergren and Adirs. We're early, we were fighting Fallschirmjägers, right? So, I mean, we're still fighting the German elites. That should have done a little more. Bar guy, take him down. Oh, man. This guy's crawling up so far. What are you doing? Where do you want your grenade to go? Just shoot him. For duty. There's a guy in this trench right here, I think. Oh, no, we got him. I think we have actually may have cleared this up without too many casualties. I think we did a decent job. We I mean, we got in here mostly having to run across the bridge to get there. Now we have to clear this one out. And we'll have to clear this final one out here. If only we had a single hey, flamethrower as part of, uh, of these teams, am I right? That would have been amazing. A single flamethrower could easily sneak up a bunch of smoke... And then when you need the push, you just throw him in there. But it's not going to happen right now. Because, well, we don't have a flamethrower for one. That would be the first issue. Oh, well, this is very Brothers in Armsy. Where I just feel like we're throwing in a bunch of good grenades here. Mostly you want to try to take out the machine gunners. If we can. That grenade didn't go anywhere. That grenade didn't get anyone either. I think, or did it? Maybe it did and just didn't tell me? Yes, sir. I'm terrified of what's going to be in here. Is that a head? It was, it was. Perfect. Okay, oh! The weather's that, the MG42 just blasted me a little too good. I think we could try to do something crazy, which is uh, a frontal assault. I think we're going to do this. Oh, there's a lot more Germans in here than I thought. Oh, they're all rocket, sort of looking the wrong way right now. Get them up, get them up. Oh, now they're sort of covering each other, just working out. Okay, let's try, charge the trenches now. I wish there was like actual melee in this game, besides sort of the messy melee that sometimes happens, but this worked out. We're charging trenches with two of these squads. Our FG, MG42 squad is still alive. And I think we made it in there without taking that many casualties. I mean, it worked out. Now we can just throw a bunch of grenades over here. If is he throwing a grenade back? It looked like he was about to throw a grenade back, but pretty effective. The amount of smoke... Actually, this is the... F oh, they threw a grenade back. Uh-oh. Well, that was very unfortunate. There's still a guy in here. That's why I could kill him. God. Okay. Lost a lot of good men there. Probably spoke a little too soon. And the last objective is going to be hard. We have to get... I think two squads in the ditch down here, and some squads are going to have to come up from the ditch back there. Maybe we can just crawl all these guys up very gently here, and then the second these people turn around to face me, are they going to start facing me? They're falsely me again. FG42s, they're facing me now. Okay, I think we get some grenades. By grenades, I mean smoke. I think we charge here. 
This could be very brutal. We're going to wait. Wait. Go. And we're just going to hope for the best here. I think. That guy's got a grenade in his hand for sure. I don't know if he threw it. That's the question. It's the guys that we can't see throwing grenades that are the issue here. Oh, we're losing a lot of men here. Oh, we got that one guy. Kill, kill the guy on the flank. Okay, now get in the trench. Get in the trench. Okay, we made it. Sort of. I mean, more, mostly by surrounding this position, I feel like, than anything else. Just on sheer manpower. Let's get one more squad here. I'm just not trusting that this isn't going to include some sort of crazy counterattack. It is market garden, so I'm expecting the Germans to throw, like, panzers at us. There's a reason we have bazookas. And we haven't had... Luckily, I don't know if the bazookas would be as good against infantry as they're like little meh on the explosive charge. Oh, wow, look at me. Look at me knowing things. Oh, armor. I hear it like right here in front of me. Listening right now. I'm not sure where it's coming from, but you can definitely hear it. Orders. We are under fire. We need artillery. Oh. Yes, sir. What is that? It's a. It's so it's a. Oh. Okay, that might have made up for everything. That may have made up for the entirety of me, sort of failing my way through this mission. I feel like we've sacrificed quite a few lives of American troopers here, but that was a hundred percent super awesome. We have another Panzer IV F2 coming in. It looks like. Which we can hopefully defend against. No, he's like right through here somewhere. Couldn't ignore this enemy that's looking at us. Hit the Panzer IV. Oh well, they'd be ignoring it, wasn't there? Why are you guys all dying? Was the, did the tank fire and hit us or something? Why did? How did half of this team die? Oh, maybe the Panzer IV did fire. This is actually sets some stuff on fire. It looks really cool like that. A bazooka. Oh, we got. Oh, we don't have a bazooka here. Crap. Okay, let's let this other team fall back to the trenches. Have them get into the trench system back here. Bazooka. Oh, behind you guys, run! Oh, it's a Yak Panther. That's a little crazy. It's a good thing we were sort of retreating there as I did. It does really remind me of that game I played, um, uh, Close Combat: A Bridge Too Far. It's like a game from. Take, take cover. 96 or maybe 95 but it, it's a super cool game i recommend if you're into uh operation market garden it's a oh what happened to the the texture i guess got a little uh, messed up there it's a really really cool game um where you're obviously uh, playing as well i guess you can actually play as the allies or the germans which i always thought was really cool uh, you can play i think uh five or six campaigns and operations from both sides maybe it's uh it's worth that to make a video on it at some point. But it seems like they're able to do so now. This is actually very cool looking. I do, I do genuinely appreciate this. I kind of want to find where that Yak Panther has gone. Guys, might want to watch out here. There is a Cromwell right up your butt, and I'm, there's no guarantee it's gonna stop. It is it? <gasps> okay, for one second I thought that was him blowing up, but that's just him running over to car. Now let's find this Yak Panther. Oh, the barrel of his road is... Uh, sir? You're gonna shoot that, right? Okay, that really tickled it. But well, now it's rotating. Okay, I think we may have saved 34's convoy here. There's some ra random-ass tank crew driving around. We uh, Okay, nice. We did get it. We did get it. We did get it. And there's even some Shermans in there. I think we did a good job. We managed to get it done. There's a little bit of a hold up here, but in the end, we lost quite a few guys getting this mission done, but I don't think this one was going to be very doable on hard with Fog of War turned on um, without suffering in a pretty decent amount of casualties considering you have to clear these trenches with just infantry. You have to get in there, see where the enemies are, get grenades on them, and sometimes you're going to have to go in there and just take them out with your guns. We're going to be continuing the Market Garden campaign set that Storm has made for us. I think the next one actually sees you playing as the Germans as you try to go on the offensive in Ireland. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's see you guys in the next one.